Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo here. So I have been a little bit under the weather, so you guys haven't seen much of me on camera, but I'm starting to turn the corner. I'm on an antibiotic, and so I thought I would throw my hair up, forget about what I look like tonight, and just bring you guys this Dollar Tree haul. This is a combination of three trips to the Dollar Tree within the last week, and I have just over 40 items, maybe even 50, a few multiples of items, but I won't show you guys those. I'm going to start off with one thing so I can put some of my buys in here and scoot it aside. So I love these. These are from the Dollar Tree and they have these great little handles. I like to put these in cabinets. I even use these in my freezer. We have a side-by-side -side fridge and I can put things in just like this, stack my meat, stack my vegetables and then pull it out and see what's deep back there hidden in the Ozarks where things get lost. So I love these, picked up one for my bathroom. Um, I have these little Cascade-like imitation Dollar Tree Virgin, what are they, Ultra Shine? Um, these are the dishwasher tablets. I think they work just as well if not better than the ones I was buying at Costco and I'm no longer picking those up at Costco. I'm now exclusively buying them at the Dollar Tree. I was craving some apricots, apricots, which one do you say? <laughs> and so I just picked this up for convenience sake. I like to have this sort of thing with cottage cheese sometimes for lunch. I've got a lot of stuff, so this is tricky. Um, I know a few of you have hauled these. I was interested for my daughter who has braces. It's a little treat for her. So I picked up one of the peaches and two of the apple slices. I've heard they're really good. We have not opened them up yet, so hopefully she'll like them. And when the rest of our family's having something she can't have with her braces, she'll have choices. And you guys know I picked this up before. This is actually the gummy worms. They're I think sour, yeah, sour gummy worms. I don't eat these guys, but we do do like little um, movie nights with the kids and you get a whole pound of these. So this is like a nice little treat and I picked these up because sometimes they don't have them. So when they do, I like to get a pack. Repeat buys, things you know I love. These are the vitamin D gummies. This is a quick, easy way for me to remember to get my vitamin D in. I keep them actually in my car, which I'll have to rethink during the summer because the heat will get to them. Something else I keep in the car just as a quick little sugar rush. It's a five calorie vitamin C tablet. The kids really like me having these in the car. Stuff's fallen. It's a hot mess. Okay. I did pick up these Jolly Ranchers, they're just the original hard candy. This is a favorite of my hubby, so got him those. This is for an upcoming vacation for me. These remind me of those little berries that are like candy that I had when I was a kid. I don't even know that they were even by this brand, but I saw them and I had an instant flashback to my childhood. And I'm not a candy person and I'm really not a gummy person. So we'll see how this goes. I also thought if you did cupcakes, these would be super cute on top in the middle because they wouldn't go bad instantly like a real berry would. I'm thinking about that for the holidays. Okay, something I've seen so many people haul and I was happy to finally find at my store is the six pack of the Hunt's tomato paste. This is really handy if you're making Spanish rice or any sauce that you need just a little bit of the tomato paste. So I got one of those. A couple more household things here. This I was very excited to find. So this, I'll show you, I got some gallon size ones so you can see the difference. So I did pick up a 10 pack of the Glad storage bags. I'm gonna use these in an upcoming video on how to pack for vacation. And these are actually much larger than that. These are the 2.5 gallon bags. I like to store the kids off season clothing in these. Um, I know the Dollar Tree has the space bags. I've never used them, 
I like to roll up the kids' bathing suits and things that they're not going to be using during this season and store them in these at the top of their closet. That was a very happy find. Okay, on to a few stationary related items. Let me take a sip of my tea real quick, guys. had a really sore throat for like a week so still getting over it um we have teachers who have huge whiteboards and i think i've hauled something similar in the past school's out for our kids but when i find something that i know i'm going to use for a teacher's gift or that i could use in their back to school supplies i pick it up now because i like to have that kind of back stock so these I actually picked up in preparation for teacher's gifts for next year, even though we just started summer. The teachers love these. They're always so excited to get them and they use them daily in the classroom on their huge whiteboards. That's basically the entire backside of their classroom. And so they keep the kids numbers on these and they use it for behavior. Um, chart for up and down each kid has one they also use them to put up different flyers and different pieces of paper that the kids need to see so i picked up i think a dozen of these and they had it in this real pretty tealy color and then the blue they had it in pink as well but i figured blue and teal are a little safer so they also have these, and these I'm actually gonna use in a DIY. I have an idea. So I've been looking for these for a while now. These are the magnetic clips. I don't need them to be magnetic clips. I just need the actual clip, but I'll be showing that in the future. Those are also handy for your fridge if you have a coupon that you're saving to put it up there. Now this I was very excited to find. It's a huge magnetic clip. It's very heavy, and I'm actually going to use this to keep our family calendar on our refrigerator. It is magnetic, and this is super, super big and heavy. So I really probably should have picked up more, but I had enough in my basket at the time. So like I said, school is already out, but as soon as school lets out, we take a week or so and regroup and get things together. And then we get on a pretty good summer schedule and that includes reading in our house. And so for my younger two children, I picked up these really cool 3D style bookmarks. So this one is the Gummy Bears. And it on the back does have a measuring device. It just says it's a 3D bookmark ruler. So this site is not 3D, but this site is, and I just thought that was really cool. Anything we can do to motivate them, right? And this one was the donuts, and I thought that was so cute. So we're going to start our reading programs, and we've got those ready to go. They also had a cupcake version, which was cute, too. We like to keep thank you notes on hand, and I thought these were neutral enough. They're just a teal color with the multicolors across that say thank you, and you get eight thank yous with envelopes. Now this will be for next year during school, but at the end of this school year, I got caught without one. The kids had some last minute reports due, and I did not have any on hand, and I had to pay full price. So I was happy to see that the Dollar Tree got back these report covers. There's three of them. You get a black one, a white one, and a blue one. So I'll put those in our school stash and I won't be caught paying $2 a piece next year. That's for sure. Killed me, you guys. It killed me. All right. So on to a few more household related items and then bathroom items and then fun stuff. We move right along here. This is the only one of the Bahama and Company, um, what is this, a car air freshener. This is the only one my Dollar Tree's got. Um, two of my Dollar Tree's got them, the others never saw any of them. So I did pick up one. Now this is something new to me, I'm gonna give a try. It's the fabric refresher. 
and it does smell good. They had a few different versions and I liked the smell of this one. It's called Extra Strength and Floral Scent and I'm just going to use this on some upholstered items that can't be easily laundered just to freshen them up a little bit. So I think I've hauled these in the past. I'm not sure, but these are the Airwick stickups. Now, if you guys have seen my coffee bar video, what was that like a month ago, guys? My husband built me this awesome trash can combo that I keep my Keurig on top of. And these work really nicely on the inside to deodorize. And our trash doesn't get too stinky because we're a family of five and it's constantly going out. So I did pick these up and they have been working nicely. You guys are going to think my family smells and we don't, but I picked this up. Now this is a carpet deodorizer, but we have a entire closet dedicated to dirty laundry in our house. It's a built in that my husband designed and the kids put all of their laundry in there. Our laundry doesn't go in there but they have whites, colors, and darks, and that closet gets pretty stinky. So I pick these up and I actually just open it and I don't sprinkle it on any carpet. I just keep it in there and it adds a nice smell to that closet. About every week or so when I go through and really clean out the baskets, I give this a little shake to freshen it up and it works really nicely. So if you have a closet in your house where you keep your laundry, you may want to pick one of those up because it's the um, baking soda, but it also has a nice scent. Now a few beauty bathroom related items. I picked up this. I have seen these and walked past them. I finally was in my daughter's room doing some cleaning and saw where she was keeping her little lip glosses and I think this is a lot better option. She has them all shoved in one drawer. So I got that for her. They did have these when I went to my Dollar Tree just a couple days ago, three days ago, and I was so excited they had white and it's plain. It doesn't have any writing on it. Oh, I was so excited. So they had it in yellow and green also, but I just got this for the kids bathroom and that'll be a nice little soap dispenser for them. I did find a set of the mini cosmetic brushes and I think those are good little choices and if you go on any little vacations, that's probably all you need to take with you. They're very soft. Now I did find, I need another sip. Sorry guys, my voice is going out. Now it's almost midnight. <clears throat> okay, I did find the Essie Knicker, Knickers, not Knickers, stickers for your nails, and I picked up four different ones. This one's just like a teal, it's like a snake skin actually, but it's teal. And this one is kind of a nude with a little bit of bling on the end there. This one is black with some cool crystals on the side there. And this is a mauve color with some bling and I'm guessing that goes at your nail bed. I don't use these, but my daughter has beautiful long nails and she does. So I picked those up because that's a name brand. I've seen those in Target before. All right, when I do fake nails from the Dollar Tree, this is the glue that I use. I use the super glue gel because the gel is a lot easier for me to control. It's thicker, it's slower to spread, and I just find it works a lot better for me. So I thought I'd share that with you guys and I did need some. They had these huge bottles, tubes of Crest Pro Health. Now, I don't know how much this goes for in the grocery store, but it is seven ounces of toothpaste. And I know that I've seen commercials for Crest Pro Health, so I picked up two of those actually. Now, this is something I've mentioned before. These are the placards for grinding your teeth at night. I grind my teeth horribly, I always have. I always pick these up when I can. And if you're not too grossed out, I'm gonna show you guys what the one I'm just about ready to throw away looks like. I use about two a week. 
So if you're grossed out easily, go ahead and turn away. But this is what they end up looking like. I just really, for some reason, can flatten that little piece out. So as you can see here, it starts out pretty small and then I get a hold of it and it spreads. So those are great for me and I highly recommend them if you are a grinder of your teeth or you know someone. All right, we're already at 15 minutes, so I've got to speed up here. I picked some of this foot soak up to try. It's spearmint and menthol scented. I love these little brushes, you guys. Um, I actually use this in my shower, not for my back, but for my feet because I'm real stickler about clean feet and clean floors. And so I can't go to bed at night unless my feet are clean. Little ism. So this is actually what I went in the Dollar Tree for, and it's just an angled flat brush. I use this for my eyebrows. I do have um, microbladed eyebrows, but they've faded in the last year. So when I do wear makeup, I have to just darken them a little bit, and I use that brush. See a little thing you didn't know? All the good dirt comes out past midnight. All right, let me reach over and bring these things, and we are getting very close to done. I did pick up six of these solar lights. I just redid some parts of my garden and trashed the old ones. They lasted about a year, so I'm happy with that. And we needed some new ones. This is a little something that I finally found at my Dollar Tree. I know that they were out long ago, but I'm gonna put this away for Christmas. So it's just chattering teeth. I thought it was cute. And I'll put that away in my already full Christmas box. Um, let me share these first, actually. I did pick up three of these. I have a project in mind that I will share with you guys. They've gotten a lot of the glassware in at the Dollar Tree, and these are the ones that I liked. The other ones have a lot of intricate design. I just wanted something simple. So this is a fun find. I know a lot of people have been looking for them. So I did find the two wick candles. Now this friends one is red inside. It's really almost pink and it's really fruity. It's almost headache worthy. I'm not sure what it would be like if you burnt it. And they had the friends and this is a warmer smell. It's more like a food smell. I would say cupcake ish, more like fall. And then this two wick that says Faith, and it's tealy blue. This one smells like an air freshener, just like a room freshener. And I just like to have things like this in a stash so that if I'm putting together a basket, I have something to add to them. I have three things that are patriotic. My son has been waiting for me to haul these so he could wear them. He loves crazy socks and he loved these i picked these up for him and so he'll be wearing those on the fourth of july and probably during christmas because right now he's wearing all of his reindeer and snowman socks and it's june so why not so my dollar tree got in these fabric flag banners and i'm thinking of using this outside on one of our windows that faces the street and i thought that that was pretty cool because it is actually fabric it's not plastic so I'll show you guys what that looks like when I get it up and I picked this up because for a dollar I couldn't make it and it is a felt star garland now as you can see I have not decorated yet I was under the weather and that slowed me down with my MS but as soon as I get everything decked out I will bring you guys a video so I picked up some more bags now you guys know I pulled this one I found another and I'm glad I did because I should have bought another when I saw it initially. Pineapple, got another one. This I thought was too cute. Time for cake and it's like a pink tie dye and then actually has this real cool blinged out tag. This is not glittery but it is a gold color so I think that goes really well. Time for cake, how cute is that? 
And then I got this one, which is just the multi polka dots with all the bling. And then this side is not bling, but I thought that that was really cute. I think the inside, yeah, it's just polka dots. And then I did pick this up, which you would think of birthday wrapping or some sort of gift giving, but I actually use this in my hamster's cage as a little bit of added bedding and also just for color when I redecorate, because yes, I decorate my hamster's cage. And so I actually picked this up for that. And I've had a few questions about my hamster and her hamption, which is her mansion. So I did go ahead and record a few days ago, just a quick little clip of her in her home so that you guys can see the little home that we built for her. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach it now. So if you are interested, go ahead and stay tuned. And if not, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. So I've had a few questions about what our hamster hamption looks like. So I just thought I'd share that. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit down here. Now she's not awake quite. Oh yeah, she is. Look at that, I timed that just right. Hello, little miss. So that's Nibbles, Mrs. Nibbles. And she is a full-blooded Syrian hamster. Oh, big stretches. Hello, hello. She just woke up. It's usually about this time. It's dinner time here in California. We usually let her out when she wakes up and put her in her ball. So for summer, I don't know if you guys can see on the outside of the back of this lower level where <laughs> it cute stretches, where she has this bucket. And I just turned it on its side. I never really got to cutting the hole in it. And she has made a nice little bed in there. We give her some toilet paper and she makes a cute little bed in there. And that's where she sleeps. And then we've got her wheel and her water bottle. And I put some wrapping paper back there. It's actually of a sky, but it looks like water. And Amazon had a really good deal on this bedding. And it's one of the brands that I use. So I picked it up to look like water for the summer. And then over here is her commode. This is an Easter egg um, from the Dollar Tree. It had a top and we just put her sand in there and she likes to groom in there so this is a very large i want to say 105 um i think it's quart container and that is what the california hamster association recommends all right sorry about that we had some friends come to the door happens often and so that's what the California Hamster Association recommends as the optimal size I think it's kind of nothing smaller than that and so what we did is cut out a hole and used part of an old cage we had because those hamster cages they sell you in the store are way too small and that's just her door and she stretches on it she's really cute and so we get her in and out down there and we cut a hole here and put some of the tubes so that she can crawl between the layers and this is the upper layer so I haven't been in here since the weekend when I set it up um, except to get her in and out and that sort of thing but uh, you can just see what we did I have her ball up here. I'll take it down. We did some um, wire mesh up here from Home Depot so that she has plenty of ventilation. Obviously the lower level she has ventilation here and the air goes back and forth in the tube system as well. So she crawls up and down and she's very good at it. And that's how she goes between each section. Let me go ahead and open this up. I think she's gonna come upstairs for us. So I did hang 
this dog toy and she likes to scratch on it. Um, just as a fun toy. And there's the other sand toy from the Dollar Tree. Someone had, you know, questioned whether it was safe. I know it is plastic items. You have to wash them really thoroughly before you let your pets around them, but you have to consider they were also made for children and humans, most of these things. So hopefully they're safe enough because they're around us. This is just a children's toy. It's a sand mold, and I just put it over here. She comes in here, and I just put the scoop in there. She doesn't do anything with it. It's just for decoration. These little bowls from the Dollar Tree, I cut down a little bit lower, and she has her seed mix in there. And then these little wicker balls, she just likes to take them apart. She doesn't eat them or ingest them or anything, and we washed them really good. So... Yeah, we just have, I consider them like a beach ball. The flamingo's more for me than her. I washed it and I just set it in here. I didn't put the metal legs in it or anything, but she could care less about that. <laughs> it's just cute to look at. And then this is actually, let me shake out the bedding. This is was a cat toy and it was on clearance at Petco. It had a mouse that came out and it's for cats to put their paws in. It was... $30 marked down to 4 so we altered it and put this, um, this is a placemat from the Dollar Tree so that this little part goes around and it had holes in it. We didn't want her little legs to get caught. So she just likes to go in and out. It's just kind of a little house. More balls. I ended up cutting this pineapple from the Dollar Tree. It's a drink container and I just use it as a tunnel now. It was standing up and just fine, but I just figured she'd have more fun in it as a tunnel. And then this is, see that's one of those wicker balls. She's taken that one apart. This is the coconut drink container, and I just cut it open on this side, and then I hot glued the lid back on, and I just put it here like this, and she likes to go in there, and we'll put, um kale and stuff in there so she just came upstairs and she knows it's right about dinner time and we'll be getting her dinner ready and this is when she's most active so that's what our little Hampshire looks like I thought I'd share how I set it up for summer to look like water with the flamingo and the pineapple and the coconut and the sand toys but that's Mrs. Nibbles, and hopefully you enjoyed seeing how I use some of these things from the Dollar Tree for our little ham.